Hello and welcome to Pirate News. I'm Megan Gonzalez. And I'm Olivia Klein. In today's newscast, we will discuss upcoming Seton Hall events and the five-day forecast. Are you interested in managing your digital presence? Stop by Space 154, the Walsh Library, today from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. to learn how to proper, properly use LinkedIn Professional Network. This workshop will teach you to share information via connections, groups, and company profiles and will provide tips on creating and managing your personal profiles. For more information, contact William Otsky at william.otsky at shu.edu. Come and observe the Margaret Loop and Maurice Bryanchon Mirrors of Mid-Century French Culture Exhibit from January 16th to March 9th in the Walsh Gallery. Contact Jean Brazil at jean.brazil at shoe.edu. Interested in getting a jump start on your career? Stop by the Spring Career Fair today from 4.30 to 6.30 in the Rec Center. This fair is expected to have more than 110 employers and all attendees will have the opportunity to explore internships as well as full-time professional opportunities. For more information, contact the Career Center at careers at shu.edu. Attend the Strategic Influencing and Communication Session this Friday, March 2nd from 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. This session provides participants with a multi-pronged systematic approach and in-depth understanding of the structure of the influencing process. For those interested in participating, contact CERS at shoe.edu. The School of Diplomacy's DC Professor Catherine Delfino will give a career discussion for students interested in working and interning in Washington, D.C. Professor Delfino will also provide information on the Semester in D.C. program offered through the School of Diplomacy. And if you plan to participate in the program, you should attend. Join award-winning author Matthew Desmond as he speaks on his book, Evicted, Poetry and Profit in the American City. This work draws from interviews with homeless citizens, landlords, and law enforcement, and attempts to draw attention to an ever-growing national problem with domino-like effects. This event will be held tomorrow in the Jubilee Hall Auditorium <laughs> from 6 to 8 p.m. To attend, register at shoe.edu. And now we'll take it over to Aaron Newpower with your five-day weather forecast. Aaron. Thanks, Megan. My name is Erin Newpower, and here is the seven-day weather forecast. Today will be mostly cloudy with a high of 57 and a low of 42. Thursday will be rainy with a high of 50 and a low of 41. Friday will be rainy, adding some wind to a high of 45 and a low of 38. Saturday, the rain will clear, and it will be cloudy with a high of 46 and a low of 35. And Sunday will be partly cloudy with a high of 47 and a low of 34. Thanks, Aaron. The Student Government Association is preparing to release an app to reduce the wait time at the Pirate's Cove. The app will allow students to order food from the Cove and even include a value pack, where students can get food, a drink, and a bag of chips for a regular swipe into the CAF. The app should be released this upcoming fall. Interested in collecting art? Join moderator Chad Lean Weaver and visiting collectors Marion Bolden and Michael Festa to discuss the collecting life. Learn how each collector's passion guides their collecting, how collecting has enhanced their lives, and what it's like to live with and nurture a collection. The event will be held tomorrow from 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. in the Piero Gallery. And that concludes today's broadcast of Pirate News. I'm Olivia Klein. And I'm Megan Gonzalez. Thanks for watching and have a great day.